Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this section we will learn about the high era and its config layers. High eye is a key value lookup used for separating data from Puppet code. With high era, you can externalize your system's configuration data. The basic problem of writing code is we usually hard code the data inside the code itself. Due to which the program becomes unusable in another. Like your program might run well in one operating system and might fail in another because of the data or values you have hard coded might not be applicable in another operating system. A good idea is to separate the data from the puppet module manifests so that the module code is untouched, and only data values are modified depending upon the host name. OS family and environment. The idea behind separating code and data is more than just having a cleaner puppet environment. It allows to create more reusable puppet modules. It also puts your variables in one place so that they too can be reused, without importing manifests across modules. Puppet uses Hira to do two things. Store the configuration data in key value pairs. And look up what data a particular module needs for a given node during catalog compilation. This is done via Automatic parameter lookup for classes included in the catalog. And explicit lookup calls. Higher odds hierarchical lookups follow a defaults, with overrides pattern. Meaning you specify common data once, and override it in situations where the default won't work. Higher off 5 comes with support for JSON, YAML, and AML files. When facing the question of how to store your sensitive configuration data such as passwords for your MySQL servers, certificates, or passwords which are used in the configuration of many applications, exposing them in a puppet manifest is not ideal and may conflict with an organization's compliance policies. So AML is a backend for Hira that provides pre-value encryption of sensitive data within YAML files to be used by Puppet. Hira looks up data by following a hierarchy, an ordered list of data sources. Hierarchies are configured in a Hira.yaml. Hira.yaml is a YAML file, containing a hash with up to four top-level keys. Version required must be the number 5 with no quotes hierarchy an array of hashes which configures the levels of the hierarchy default underscore hierarchy an array of hashes which sets a default hierarchy to be used only if the normal hierarchy entries do not result in a value defaults a hash which can set a default data dir backend and options for hierarchy levels. HireEye has three built-in backends, YAML, JSON, and Hoken. All of these use files as data sources. You can use any combination of these backends in a hierarchy, and can also combine them with custom backends. But if most of your data is in one file format, set default values for the data dir and data underscore hash keys. Each YAML, JSON, Hoken hierarchy level needs the following keys. Name, a unique name for this level, shown in debug messages and explain output. Path, paths, glob, globs, or mapped underscore paths, choose one, the data file is to use for this hierarchy level. These paths are relative to the data dir, they support variable interpolation, and they require a file extension. Data underscore hash which backend to use can be omitted if you set a default the value must be one of the following yaml underscore data for yaml json underscore data for json hoken underscore data for hoken data dir the directory where data files are kept 
can be omitted if you set a default. This path is relative to hiera.yaml's directory, if the config file is at slash etc slash puppetlab slash code slash environment slash production slash hiera.yaml and the data dir is set to data, the full path to the data directory is slash etc slash puppetlab slash code slash environment slash production slash data. In the global layer, you can optionally set the data dir to an absolute path, in the other layers, it must always be relative. Higher OS 3 config layers. Higher I uses three independent layers of configuration. Each layer has its own hierarchy, and they're linked into one super hierarchy before doing a lookup. The three layers are searched in the following order Global, Environment, Module. Hira searches every data source in the global layer's hierarchy before checking any source in the environment layer. The global layer The configuration file for the global layer is located, by default, in slash etc slash puppetlab slash puppet slash hiera.yaml. You can change the location by changing the hiera underscore config setting in puppet.conv. Higher has one global hierarchy. Since it goes before the environment layer, it's useful for temporary overrides, for example, when your ops team needs to bypass its normal change processes. The global layer is the only place where legacy Higher 3 backends can be used. It's an important piece of the transition period when you migrate your backends to support Higher 5. The global layer supports the following config formats, hiera.yaml v5 and hiera.yaml v3 which has been deprecated now. Other than the above used cases, try to avoid the global layer. All normal data should be specified in the environment layer. The environment layer The configuration file for the global layer is located, by default environment directory slash hiera.yaml. Like for production environment the path will be slash etc slash puppetlab slash code slash environment slash production slash hiera.yaml. The environment layer is where most of your hiera data hierarchy definition happens. Every puppet environment has its own hierarchy configuration, which applies to nodes in that environment. The module layer. The configuration file for a module layer is located, by default, in a module's module slash hiera.yaml. Like if the module name is ntp the file path will be slash etc slash puppetlab slash code slash environment slash production slash modules slash ntp slash hiera.yaml. The module layer sets default values and merge behavior for a module's class parameters. It is a convenient alternative to the params.pp pattern. The module layer comes last in Hire's lookup order, so environment data set by a user overrides the default data set by the module's author. Every module can have its own hierarchy configuration. A module's hierarchy only affects lookup keys in its own namespace. Like in this example Hiera uses the NTP module's hierarchy when looking up NTP colon colon servers, but uses the Jenkins module's hierarchy when looking up Jenkins colon colon port. Hiera never checks the NTP module for a key beginning with Jenkins colon colon. For lookup keys that don't have a namespace, for example, secure underscore server, or which don't correspond to an existing module, Hira skips the module layer. Hira, using the lookup function. The lookup function uses Hira to retrieve a value for a given key. By default, this returns the first value found, and fails compilation if no values are available but you can configure it to merge multiple values into one, fail gracefully, and more. When looking up a key, Hiera searches up to three tiers of data, in the following order. 
High era. The current environment's data provider. The indicated module's data provider, if the key is of the form module name colon colon something. Note, higher a always checks the global layer before the environment layer. If no global higher.yaml file has been configured, higher defaults are used. If you don't want it to use the defaults, you can create an empty higher.yaml and slash etc slash puppet lab slash puppet slash data slash. Automatic lookup of class parameters. Puppet looks up the values for class parameters in Hiera, using the fully qualified name of the parameter, myClass colon colon parameter underscore 1, as a lookup key. Most classes need configuration, and you can specify them as parameters to a class as this will look up the needed data if not directly given when the class is included in a catalog. There are several ways Puppet sets values for class parameters, in this order. If you're doing a resource like declaration, Puppet uses parameters that are explicitly set, if explicitly setting undif, a looked up value or default will be used. Puppet uses Hiera, using class name colon colon parameter name as the lookup key. For example, it looks up NTP colon servers for the NTP classes dollar servers parameter. If a parameter still has no value, Puppet uses the default value from the parameter's default value expression in the class's definition. If any parameters have no value and no default, Puppet fails compilation with an error. For example, you can set servers for the NTP class like this slash etc slash puppet lab slash code slash production slash data slash node slash web 01.example.com.yaml ntp colon colon servers time.example.com 0.pool.ntp.org why are there three layers now higher three or lower versions only used a global higher yaml and it had two huge problems. Every environment had to use the same hierarchy. Most people keep configuration data in their environments, but since the hierarchy was global, you couldn't make any changes to it without changing every environment at the same time. Since environments are often used for staged rollout of code changes, this made the hierarchy a dangerous exception to normal change processes. Module data was impossible, most modules need some amount of default data. A lot of module authors wanted to use Hira to provide it, but a central hierarchy couldn't support that. The three-layer system fixes those issues. You can now roll out hierarchy changes on an environment-by-environment -environment basis, and module data is simple and seamless to use. The global layer stays around for temporary overrides and other special cases. Okay, so in this section we learned about the higher ought to manage the data lookup using three config layers. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.